there are numerous aftermarket rear, upper, and lower control arm kits available for 1999 to 2004 solid rear axle Mustangs. When you're attacking an autocross course in your pony, rear grip and composure are key to running fast times. A quality set of rear, upper, and lower control arms will move the limit of rear traction further out and improve the way your Mustang feels at the limit. This is not a paid promotion. This video shares my honest, autocross-tested review of the Steeda 555-2002 steel rear control arm kit that I used on my 2000 GT for five seasons. If you drive a 1979 to 1998 Mustang, Steeda makes a version of this kit, part number 555-2001, that fits your car. Steeda recommends using adjustable upper control arms on 1997 and a half to 1998 Mustangs. Always check the rules for your SCCA category before changing your rear control arms. The Steeda Steel Rear Control Arm Kit comes with upper control arms, lower control arms, polyurethane upper differential housing bushings, and lube. The kit also comes with a little bit of controversy. There's a common claim in the Mustang world that using anything except OEM rear upper control arms with good rubber bushings is a bad idea that will lead to unwanted bind that cripples the cornering capability of your car. I've also been told repeatedly that any rear upper and lower control arms with poly bushings will destroy the torque boxes. I gave the Steeda Steel Rear Control Arm Kit a workout at nearly 150 autocross events. Before I review its quality, performance, and durability, let's go over its features and benefits. The Steeda Steel Upper and Lower Control Arms have three-piece poly bushings. The hard center bushing reduces deflection, and the softer outer bushings allow for articulation with minimal bind. The three-piece bushing design prevents torque box damage. The majority of aftermarket 1999 to 2004 Mustang rear control arms with poly bushings use an inferior two-piece bushing design. The Steeda upper control arms are made from tubular DOM steel and they feature TIG welds. They mitigate the side-to-side -side movement of the rear end and eliminate the nervous feeling that's common with OEM rear upper control arms. The Steeda lower control arms are made from extruded and billet steel. They improve traction when you're launching hard or rolling on the throttle out of slow autocross elements. Steeda includes two-piece poly upper differential housing bushings to replace the OEM rubber bushings. The benefits are less deflection, and more bushing material where the upper control arms mount to the rear end. Detailed installation instructions for the rear upper control arms and the rear lower control arms are available on Steeda's website. It took me two and a half hours to install the Steeda Steel Rear Control Arm Kit on my 2000 GT. There is some danger involved when removing the rear springs. Always follow proper safety protocols or have a professional mechanic do the work. Here's what I think of the Steeda 1999 to 2004 Mustang Steel Rear Control Arm Kit after over 600 autocross runs. The steel upper and lower control arms are designed for strength and they're very well built. The powder coat looked great when they were new. The three-piece control arm bushings come pre-installed and pre-lubed. The upper differential housing bushings, thrust washers, and sleeves are made with precision. They're a tight fit in the OEM shells and in the upper control arms. You can see the dedication to quality in every component of this control arm kit. I've ridden in and driven a lot of solid rear axle 1999 to 2004 Mustangs with OEM control arms at autocross events over the years. I'm extremely familiar with the lack of rear grip under aggressive acceleration, 
and the nervous feeling in the rear end as the car approaches the limit of traction. To be fair, I'm sure most of those cars had old, tired OEM rubber bushings. But even a brand new 1999 to 2004 Mustang would benefit from better rear control arms. The difference between OEM rear control arms and the Steeda Steel rear control arms is night and day. I learned the basics of car control with the Steeda Steel rear control arm kit on my 2000 GT. I made dozens of driving mistakes that stressed the suspension. As I sharpened my skills, I amped up my aggression exponentially. I launched hard off of starting lines, powered out of corners, made tight turns on technical courses, and high-speed maneuvers on open courses. I pounded on these control arms at every event. The feedback at the limit of traction was clear and consistent. And the limit of rear traction was much further out than stock. I never once felt the dreaded quadrabind out on course. The rear end of the car felt present and poised, and that gave me tremendous confidence when attacking the cones. I used this kit with the poly upper differential housing bushings Steeda supplied, but I now prefer to use spherical upper differential housing bushings on my solid rear axle Mustangs. Spherical bushings in the upper differential housing location help move the limit of traction even further out. I washed the arms and cleaned the excess lube off of the bushings to make sure I was providing a clear picture of their condition. After five seasons of abuse, the Steeda lower control arm poly bushings have some minor imperfections because I didn't clean the slag off of the torque boxes when I installed them. But, as you can see, they're not deformed or cracked. The arms aren't twisted or bent. There are a few big chips in the powder coat along the edges, and there's some light rust in several areas. When I did the IRS swap, I inspected the lower torque boxes, and they had no damage at all. As for the upper control arms, remember that a lot of folks think using aftermarket upper control arms with polyurethane bushings is a truly terrible decision. But the bushings in the Steeda upper control arms that came out of my 2000 GT look almost brand new. And the upper torque boxes showed absolutely no signs of damage. The arms themselves look barely used. The powder coat has held up pretty well, but there are some small chips and there is a little rust. The upper differential housing bushings and thrust washers have some indentations from the edges of the upper control arms, and they're not as shiny as the day they were born, but they're nowhere near worn out, not even close. Knowing what I put this kit through, I'm very impressed with its durability. Bushings are a consumable. At some point, you will need to replace them. When that time comes, Steeda has you covered. They offer replacement bushing kits for their rear control arms. Looking at the Steeda steel rear control arm kit that came out of my 2000 GT, I wouldn't hesitate to relube the bushings, throw on a little touch-up paint, and put the kit back into service on another autocross car. The arms and bushings served me well for five seasons, and I have no doubt they can handle many more autocross events. I have to hand it to Steeda. They make a quality rear control arm kit that offers great bang for the buck, performance improvements you can feel everywhere out on course, and durability that holds up under tough autocross conditions. 